everything I teach is now. And everything now is subtle, because how much can happen in a now? You can't tell a story about a now. It's too small. As I said, it's now. There's no story that can... You can't even tell the story of what happened uh, with the pain in the dentist chair in a moment, because in that moment, there wasn't that much pain in the moment. So what is, what is the study of now? It's something that's completely new. And people come to this meeting for the first time, and they have concepts of what, <clears throat> what construct am I going to hear about? What construct is this similar to? Is this similar to Buddhism or Sufism or Hinduism or uh, New Ageism or whatism? But no ism can fit in a now. And I teach the study of the now. There is no terminology. There is no frame of reference. There is nothing that can describe what I teach because the appreciation and the reconnection of, to something that's been lost as a continuity for the reconnection with the inner reality, the inner vibration, which has been the connection to which has been lost. But not starting with that, clearly, because we're so, so far away from anything in the moment that conceiving that we are candidates for meditating on that inner reality, on that inner truth, on that inner energy, is absurd. Because we have been totally brainwashed and voluntarily brainwashed by that there is nothing of value in this moment. Now certainly we all have had moments that are very rich and in those moments we never want them to end. But they do end and <clears throat> the percentage of those moments is tsunami-like, overwhelmed by all the rest of our life. So our frame of reference is not those moments. There haven't been anywhere near. It's a million to one. Not a hundred or a thousand to one, a million to one. That those moments have been overwhelmed by moments of what am I going to do before and what have I did what am I going to do next and what did I do before? and the imitation of what was before. So when we cook something, we're not cooking for the first time. We're not cooking it. We're cooking what we cooked last time the same way. We're reading recipe books of how somebody else imitated it, and we're imitating them. Our life is imitation and past and future. So when I say I'm teaching, I teach how to appreciate the now, you have no idea what I'm talking about. How does one do that? I don't even know there is such a thing. How does one do that? I have a concept of the now, but it's an imitated concept. Or it's some memory of the past of moments that I've had, and I haven't had that many of them. And if you think you've had a lot of them, it's your imagination. You haven't. You've just told the stories enough times or thought of them enough times that they seem like more than they are, but they're not. Because we're all drowning in the opposite of subtlety, and subtlety looks like nothing to it. It's being able to interact with life, not after life, but life, exactly as it comes to us one moment at a time, and <clears throat> actually feel and observe with the senses the richness of that. 